police in New Haven also investigating deadly gun violence there. More than a dozen shots were fired tonight on a busy street, leaving a 29-year-old man dead. Pinpoint News Tracker shows us where it happened at the intersection of Grand Avenue and East Pearl Street. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo has the details. It happened around 445 this afternoon here in the Fairhaven section of the city. Now we've been on scene for hours walking up and down the street and that's exactly what police say the victim was doing when he was fatally shot in the torso. There was, you know, around 14, 15 uh, shots fired. Uh, that's a terrifying thing. Gunshots ringing out on East Pearl Street Tuesday afternoon. At least one of them hitting a man who New Haven officials say was just walking down the street. And a car uh, drove up alongside them and shot the individual. Unfortunately, the individual died at the scene. Mayor Justin Elliker couldn't confirm if the suspect and victim knew each other. The suspect is still on the loose, and investigators spent the evening searching for evidence. They also looked to nearby houses for surveillance video. The police is working very hard to uh, catch the people that uh, took this person's life. An intense focus on the suspect, but witnesses we spoke to say there wasn't enough attention paid to the victim. The police that were here didn't fight for this person. This woman didn't want to show her face on camera. She claims first responders lacked urgency on scene. If that is the case, if there's a, a potential issue where the first responders were not responding quickly enough, we will definitely look into that. Police have not named the victim in this case. They say that they are waiting to notify next of kin. Meantime, Mayor Elliker says that this is the 20th deadly shooting in the city this year. However, he says overall shootings in this city are down when compared to this time last year in 2022. In New Haven, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.